everyone welcome for the latest news and the latest updates wherever you are and where you're watching from thanks for joining us we are very pleased but kindly don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification button for more of these updates uh, UPDF deploys in Democratic Republic of Congo to fight enemy forces uh, once again thanks for joining us and let's take a quick look into some of these details Troops have been deployed in the Democratic Republic of Congo by the Uganda People's Defense Force, known as UPDF, according to the military sources. The reason for their deployment there is to fight and flush out rebel groups intending to destabilize Uganda and cause havoc among civilians. The first troops are said to have been deployed on May 17th in areas of Kasindi, Beni, and also in Butembo. Kasindi is located in the North Kivu province on the eastern side of Democratic Republic of Congo and it houses one, it houses one of the main custom posts in the area. Uh, it also processes a large flow of merchandise from Uganda. The troops are commanded by Major General Kaya Jamuhanga, the commandant, the, the commandant of the Mountain Brigadier in the UPDF according to the sources. Beni in East Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo is home to the Allied Democratic Forces, military fighters how and who have carried out a number of killings. A total of 23 people have died at the hands of the ADF, known as Allied Democratic Forces, only in March of 2021. They also attacked Beu Manyama, Moriso village in the Beni region, but the army intervened, killing two assailants. The Chief of Defense, Defense Forces, General David Muhozi, in an interview admitted to the fact that UPDF allied with the government of Democratic Republic of Congo, and he said that is for security purposes mainly and denied any reports of deployment. Uh, we haven't deployed yet, but we are working with our Congolese brothers to help sort out that matter because it was them. It concerns us, General Mohos said after swearing in as one of the UPDF representatives in parliament. Uh, local officials said on Tuesday, fighters from the Ugandan Allied Democratic Forces attacked a same village in North Kivu province on Monday. An administrator in the Beni region, Amis Kalondo, told F F FPA and let's take also a quick look into this similar news where Ugandan rebels killed six Democratic Republic of Congo civilians. Uh, in Goma, six civilians were hacked to death in the east of the Democratic Republic of Congo in an attack by Ugandan Islamist rebels, uh, local officials said on Tuesday. Our fighters from the Ugandan Ali Democratic Forces attacked a small village in North Kivu province on Monday. An administrator in Beni region, Amis Kalonda, told F AF Web that the provisional toll is six dead, all civilians were killed with the machetes, two injured, and a medical center plundered. Kalonda said of the raid in the village of Kitevia. Noela Kasorengwachi, Beni Civil Society President speaking by telephone from Goma, the capital of North Kivu, said two men and four women were killed. Uh, Captain Mark Hazuke, the local region's army spokesman, confirmed there had been an attack but did not comment on the casualties. Around 700 people have been killed, mostly hacked to death in attacks in the troubled region since October 2014. The Congolese government and the MONUSCO United Nations mission in the country both blamed the attacks on the ADF, a group of rebels dominated by puritanical Ugandan Islamists, formed by elusive Milton Jamil Mukulu in 1989 and initially focused on overthrowing Ugandan Yoel Museven. Ugandan President Yoweri Museven and the ADF absorbed other rebel groups into its ranks and started carrying out attacks in 1995 and gradually pushed westwards by the Ugandan army and the ADF relocated much of its activities to the Democratic Republic of Congo. Uh, well, that is it for now. We'll keep on updating with more of this. Thanks for watching. Kindly don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification button.